It's red light, green light, one, two, three, with D and Z. Here are your hosts, D and Z. Welcome everybody to Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with D and Z, and here's how it goes. D and I give you our top 1, 2, 3 fancy starts or green lights, and our top 1, 2, 3 fancy sits or red lights. We're going to start with our green lights first. Who are your green lights for NFL Week 6, D? All right, so first up, I'm going with Baker Mayfield. Um... Baker is taking full advantage of all his offensive weapons, and you can count on him to get between 20 and 30 points this weekend. Number two, I'm taking DJ Moore. Caleb Williams is getting into a groove, and DJ Moore is his guy. He has finally figured out how to run an offense in the National Football League. And number three, I'm taking the Titans D. Drake May is going to be starting for the New England Patriots, and that's going to be double-digit points for the Houston Texans. You can't go wrong with those. I mean, those make a lot of logical sense. I'm going to go with Tank Dell against the Patriots. Mm, nice, I like it. No Nico Collins means Tank Dell gets more to eat. So plain and simple, right? Diggs is going to get his. There's a vacuum, and Dell can fill that vacuum. Number two, take the Bucks D against the Saints. Take it. Spencer Rattler is under center. Pin your ears back and just go get the quarterback. Go get him, because I doubt he can hit Alvin Kamara. Pin your ears back and just go. And then number three. Give me Kirk Cousins against the Panthers. Like that's just that's a layup. Panthers stink. And the and the Falcons, they're starting to hum. But those are our green lights. Who are your red lights, D? All right, first up, I've got Chris Olave, wide receiver of the New Orleans Saints. No Derek Carr, no targets, no thank you. <laughs> Number two, I've got the Browns defense. We had high hopes for the Browns defense and the Browns offense this year as well. But the truth is Watson is ass and the defense cannot force any turnovers. And number three, we've I've got Dak Prescott, who's the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. I don't like his chances uh, against the Lions defense that has been resting all week. Uh, so I am not starting Dak Prescott. What do you got, Z? Yeah. Dak Prescott is fucked. So we're going to move on from him. Uh where to begin with our red lights? Oh, here's one. Will Levis against the Colts. <laughs> you want to talk about Deshaun Watson being booty cheeks? Like, they put Mason Rudolph in last week because Will Levis was so bad. So, Will Levis, <laughs> you can go have a seat right over there. Number two, Deshaun Watson against the Eagles. <laughs> we were just talking about booty cheeks. There we go. No, there we go. You can sit right over there too. You are a shell of yourself. You are a shell of yourself. What happened? They're, they're oh, we, we know what dude. happened. We they're know what happened. This dude. So, and you're going up against an Eagles defense that knows how to handle quarterbacks. And then number three, I don't like the Jets defense. I really, I, I don't like what the Jets defense is, is going up against on Monday night. Like, this whole organization is falling apart. Your DC is now your HC. Who is calling the plays? It's still him. Like, there's too much chaos right now. And now you got Sauce Gardner going at it with fans because of, you know, their treatment of Brees Hall on social media. Brees Hall's been terrible all year. All right, let's not get it twisted. Brees Hall has not been good. I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to be a good teammate. But sometimes you just got to sit some out. You got to sit some arguments out. Some things are not your business. Some fights are not your fight. And that's one of them. You're never going to win a fight against the fans. Never, ever, ever, ever. 
you can pick anybody from the Jets, and they're they're a red light. <laughs> anybody, <laughs> Brees Hall, Aaron Rodgers, Garrett Wilson, the guy selling hot dogs doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The, this is going to be an all out ass whooping. <laughs> CJ Gardner Johnson mentioned the belt last week. No, no, no. This is the belt game. This is the belt game, CJ. That's, yeah, no. Not looking pretty at all. And the Bills are coming off, what, back-to-back losses, aren't they? Yeah, so they're going to be ornery. <laughs> you think you think they're going to want, you think they're going to want to make a point and prove a point on Monday night? I think so. Game's in New York? Or Game is in Met New Jersey? Life. Met Life. So, New Jersey? in consecutive... Right, so Consecutive days, they'll be back-to-back primetime games at MetLife. <laughs> yeah, a combined four and six, those two teams. So, yeah, awesome. Crushing it. Yeah, that's New York football for you. Thank God for the other sports. But those are our red lights. Those are our green lights. What are yours? Hit us up, faderoutmail at gmail.com or slide in our DMs on IG at Podcast and let us know who you got. For NFL Week 6. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you liked what you heard and you want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Leave us a review, rate us five stars, turn on subscription notifications, and share on social media. Tell your friends and spread the word.